Good morning, everybody. It's November the 19th of the morning duck rush, and uh, the ducks are waiting for me. Winter's back, though. Uh, temperature just plummeted last night. Everything's covered nice again. I gotta be careful walking. The wind is howling. What a difference from yesterday. I'm so glad I got all that groundwork done because now the ground's frozen. Hey, ducks! The ducks really like their new ramp uh, going to the top. Now more of them can pile in at once. Uh, they're enjoying it. Which is much better than the, uh, the slippery rock situation. They've got a nice long sloping ground now. Which uh, once the fence is gone, they'll expand. And they'll put a little more gravel there. So that, uh, Man, the wind is just picking up like crazy today. Uh, all the ducks, they look like they're going to the lake. It's uh, it's firm. It's not rock hard. It's like I said, it went to minus two last night, and but the wind is nasty. Oh, there's ice. There's the water here. Let's see what they uh, they get down here and see what happens. Today's not going to be a warm day. It's only supposed to go to a high of zero. So the ducks might actually get down here and just. Uh, no, I like it. I didn't get to do the rush home video last night because I had to uh, run to town to get some patio stones before uh, everything froze up. Uh, so I, when I got home, the ducks were already home. <laughs> so it was like, I missed that last night, but... They uh, came back on their own. But... Oh, the crazy little ducks are coming. And of course, we have some manly challenge with Scobies. <laughs> we know where they are. Walking ahead of them, and we're going to walk into. Come on, Dougie! You know, the ice is not really thick. But actually, it's too cold. It's actually open. So the ice is starting to form. Okay. Come on, everybody. We actually do have water down here. Oh, 
But tonight, uh, it's going to minus 12, is what they're calling for tonight. <laughs> oh. um, so, it'll definitely be frozen solid down here tomorrow. Oh, here we got some slipping and sliding. Keep going, you're getting closer. There aren't you water down here. Tomorrow. This is officially the last day uh, the docks are going to be coming down here. Because, like I said, tonight's uh, going to be nasty cold. I can't say with this wind and uh, being uh, you know, one degree Celsius, uh, the lake is going to lose all its heat that it uh, got back. So we're, uh, tomorrow it's going to be solid ice on here. Because today it's not going to uh, melt enough. This, actually, none of this is going to melt today. It's going to just stay cold all day. So, but they will not go on the lake. They're just stuck back, uh, you know, in the creek again. Here, this is where they just hang around. It's... Oh, get them Scooby flying! She flew right in. Ha <laughs> ha! You were smart this morning, eh? Oh, we got another one. Oh, okay, maybe we'll get some more here flying for us. As you can see, we've got some scovies trapped in the pen. Come on, girls. It's four girls, so they can all fly. Come on. Of course, as soon as they get the camera on them, eh, they're, they're not going to fly for us. <laughs> Pardon the camera shaking, but that's actually me. The wind is so cold, uh, it's going right through my winter jacket here. I didn't do the wind flap up, because I thought, oh, it's zero, it's not that cold. And it's going right through my zipper. All right, these and scovies aren't going to fly for us. No, they're not going to fly for us. These little buggers. But as soon as I turn the camera away, I'm going to turn up and they'll, they'll fly. All right, so you guys are just going to hang around here today again, aren't you? Yeah, of course, there's another one just laying in the water. As soon as I turn my back. Alright, we got some more here. Maybe uh, these will... Right. Yeah, they're, they're so predictable and not predictable, you know? It's like I told you, as soon as I turn my back... Oh, there's comes another one. Look at that. Oh, that was good. Good girl. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we got some serious flying to the swamp today. Right on. It's oh, here's one's coming. Right on. That was cool. You know, it's sort of fitting that this is you know the last rush, morning rush to the swamp. It, it is. I know this is it. Uh, my gut is telling me that there's going to be no more thaws. Uh, that are going to enable this, that we're going to be able to come down here to the water. Tomorrow's going to be just solid ice down here. And uh, we got, you know, video footage. And how many months have we been doing this, waiting for this to happen? I've been waiting for it to happen. For, you know, for, we've been coming down here since the 1st of September. And it's, you know, November the 19th. You know, two and a half months of, of uh, you know, taking these guys to the swamp and waiting for them to fly for us. 
and I'm actually getting some pretty decent footage here. So we've got some more. So I'm going to put up with the shake in here, and if you can put tolerate the uh, shaking camera uh, with my shivering, and we'll see what these last four Muscovies do for us. Come on, fly for us. I'm not going to take the camera off them. I'm just going to stay on them. What a great morning rush video, though, flying to the swamp. You know, next spring, uh, it's going to be so neat to watch all these females flying to the uh, lake. Actually, they won't be flying to the lake. They're going to be walking to the lake with their ducklings in tow. Oh, there comes another one. These guys are only flying halfway. Don't land right in the water. Okay, so we're back to another one. Come on, guys. My hands are frozen. You can just tell, you know, how well insulated these guys are. They're, uh, they're, you know, they're jumping in the water. I'm standing here freezing, and uh, you know, they're jumping in the water. Come on, Muscovies! There's three of you. Put a show on. I lost count how many we had flying so far. I'm uh, the excitement here. <laughs> I forgot to keep, count, keep track. Come on. It's three little females. They, you can do it. Get some air. No, they're going to walk the whole way. Watch, watch. Oh, the wind is nasty. <laughs> My fingers are numb now. I got these little uh, wind gloves on. Uh, they're not cutting it. I got a serious chill. <laughs> of course, these girls are not going to perform for us. All right, you know, flying right now is sort of silly. You're already down here. You're not going to fly, are you? Okay, that's the wind moving the camera sideways. Not, that's not me. I'm shaking up and down, the, and the wind's blowing it sideways. <laughs> All right, they're, they're not. They're here. They're not going to fly for us. I guess everybody's just going to stay here and hang around. Eh? All of some serious sex happening again. It seems as soon as they get in the water, it's sex time. Well, <laughs> right, you guys have fun down here today. I'm going to go and uh, do some work. i got a truck full of work to get ready for your home for the winter. And that's the, uh, the official morning rush. And these, these three did not fly for us. So, unfortunately, uh, that's it. And tomorrow, I know, uh, like I said, tonight, it's supposed to be minus 12. And uh, this is going to be solid ice down here uh, because it's already, you know, one third ice here. And if it's one third now and minus 12 tonight, it'll be rock hard ice tomorrow. So there might even be, uh, the lake might even actually have a, a complete sheet of ice on it. So we're, uh, this is probably the, uh, the last uh, morning rush to the lake. So unless things uh, change, uh, we got our show. We, we actually got sort of fitting. We got the uh, Muscovies flying for us and we got footage of it uh, coming down to the lake and landing in the water. I think that's pretty cool. It was worth freezing my buns off for anyways. So that's it for this morning. Hello everybody, it's November 19th of the duck expansion and uh, the ducks also won't go to the lake. I took them there this morning down in the morning rush. You saw it on the uh, the big the aerial show the uh, Muscovy's been on for us, but they will not go to the lake. I can't get them to go to the lake. So, But today I'm uh, laying the patio stones because uh, this is where the gate's going to be and this is where critters are going to be able to, uh, well specifically weasels and fishers can be able to crawl underneath and get into my pan and cause me some you know, severe havoc with my birds, uh, which I don't want. So this is uh, what's going to stop them from uh, digging underneath the gate. Because this is the gate for the tractor to get in to uh, blow the uh, pen out. So now I'm going to put uh, patio stones at the entrance here before it freezes. Uh, that's the next thing. But let's go take a look at the ducks and see uh, exactly where they are. Because I looked down a few seconds ago and uh, 
they were gone. And then I uh, looked up again, and then they were there. So and it looks like they're still there. They refuse to go to the lake. I don't know why. I, 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 this, I think they just don't like nasty weather. But it's strange because, you know, when it's 10 below, they'll go in the tub and play in the tub. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know if it's the wind. Yeah, there they are. I've got my work boots on, so I can't go down there. I'll get soaking wet, and I still got work to do, and it's very cold. So, yeah, there they are. They're hanging around at this end. Oh, they're, they're playing in the water. It's bizarre. I don't understand why they won't go to the lake. It's almost like they forgot the lake's out there. I don't know. And this has nothing to do with the call because they uh, had stopped going to the lake before the call. So I think it's just the, the nasty weather. The ducks don't like the uh, the nasty weather. And, and it's been since the nasty weather they've stopped going on the, uh, the lake. Actually, uh, since uh, sex, actually, all they think about is sex. It's windy, cold and windy. It's actually only zero, but with the wind chill, it's got to be like minus 10. Uh, tomorrow, this will be frozen solid. We'll go down there and check it out in the morning, but uh, I know it'll be solid frozen. So, and the ducks just won't go to the lake. It's very strange. And you can hear the females just a quacking like crazy when they're getting screwed by the males. I'm working away and it sounds like a critter's got a hold of one of them and it's, you know, it is, it's a male's got a hold of a female, I'm just driving it to her, so, and I'm, uh, like, that's like 300 feet from where I'm working, 350 feet where I'm working and with the wind and I can hear them just a scream and, but the females ask for it, and that's what you get when you ask for it, so that's the, uh, the afternoon update here on the, uh, the duck expansion, I'm working away and I gotta get these, uh, patio stones, put in front of the barn today because uh, tomorrow the ground's going to be too hard for me to do any type of manipulation with the soil and the forecast does not show any thawing coming it's uh, basically just going to be seasonal temperature now zero right across the board so and like minus five minus ten at night so I've got to uh, get, start getting this done um, I, I'm hoping to have this weekend I'm going to be putting the wire up and uh, at least the ducks will have more room so that's the plan, but you know, my plans don't always go according to plan, so. But we're gonna keep working here today, and uh, I've gotta uh, clean their pen out, or their shed out, because they need fresh straw. So they've gone eight days uh, before the straw need to be cleaned, so that's pretty good. Actually, considering uh, out of eight days, four of those nights, all of them were inside uh, all night, so that's, you know, that's not bad. I think the barn, I might only have to clean the barn out every uh, two weeks with the amount of floor space they're gonna have. So we'll see this winter what it's like. It's gonna be a lot less work with more space. I know that it's gotta be. So, anyways, I'm gonna get back to work here. I uh, just got my water uh, hitched up outside today, so we've got a fire hydrant outside. Well, a hydrant, I should say, outside now. So we've got water uh, year-round, and uh, and my heated hose bag's coming, which I'll show you that thing. Uh, so that's the afternoon update on uh, the uh, duck expansion. So I'm just in the shed right now, cleaning out their straw. Uh, they're crappy straw. I'm getting a new straw and I just noticed they're all congregating at the landing So I'm gonna go up the rotten tree, which I'll show you. Take a look at that It's snapped off the one beside that I got to tie to so I'm gonna go up there right now and uh, Get a shot of them coming down the last one of the season. All right. I'm up here on the tree and uh, I just want to show you look how rotten that tree is And I think the one I'm leaned against is that rotten so This is gonna be uh, the last one. I think of the series. Well, I know it's going to be the last one. The duck won't be coming home tomorrow night because they won't be down here. So, let's do some whistling and get the ducks to come home. And it's really cold up here tonight. Absolutely brutally cold, actually. I might not even last. Come on, ducks! Come on! My lips are so cold, I can't even whistle. Hello! And 
the shaking is the treat. Hello, ducks! Come on! Come on home! I got lots of food! Nice fluffy straw! Oh, there they come. Come on! Oh, my lips are frozen. Hello! Come on! It is unbelievably cold up here. I don't like, I'm sorry I'm whining on video here for you, but my forehead's already frozen. Oh no, no, come on back, please. Come on, doggies! Oh, my lips are frozen. Hello, ducks! Come on! I wonder if they know that this is the last night. You can still see the ice down there. It did not thaw at all today. I've been outside working and it's just brutally cold. The wind is like a, a, a rude north wind. Really, really cold when it gusts. Oh man, my face is frozen. Hello, duckies! Come on! Hello! Oh, I can't even whistle. Hello! Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you're probably witnessing the last true rush home from the swamp this season. I honestly think this is going to be the last one uh, until next spring. Uh, because the the weather is uh, winter's here. Everything's freezing. The ground's freezing. Uh, when it gets cold, it's rude. And after uh, tonight, the weather forecast basically just says seasonal temperature zero. So it's just going to stay cold. And the sun is down so low in the sky now. There's no heat from the sun. Like, uh, I think right now it's only about a uh, quarter to four. Look how dark it is. Well, we have no sunlight. Uh, it's just, it's damn near on the horizon. The days are getting really short. Hello, duckies! Oh, the last rush home. Actually, this is the first rush since the cull. And the line's much shorter now. It's still a pretty good line. It's 83 duck. Oh, we got fly action. Scovy flew in. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll get some more Scovy action. Oh, the camera autofocus sucks. Right, I think the Scovies are thinking about it. 
There's the duck. All my ducks in a row. Actually, they're all in a vertical this morning, tonight. Right behind each other. <laughs> Hello, girls and guys. I'm just about to put a whole bale of straw, a nice fluffy straw in your shed for you. You're going to love that tonight. All right, Muscovies, give us a show. You gave us a show this morning. Do it again. Now, considering Muscovies are uh, originally from the, uh, you know, an Ecuadorian uh, you know, bird uh, from the Amazon area, um, this is freaking cold for them. But you know, they've climatized uh, over the generations; they've gotten used to it. But uh, oh, there we go, more action! Right on, and the scoby flies home. There's one. Oh, look at it! Nice control. All right, so let's see. Do we get another one? Well, the Muscovies are coming through for us here. They gave us an aerial show going to the swamp this morning, and oh, we've got another one. I'm trying my best here in the tree. That looks pretty good. All right. It, it's, I got my arms wrapped around the tree trying to uh, swing around with the camera, so uh, I'm sorry the camera work sucks. All right. We've got the Muscovies in a row down there. The camera doesn't seem to be focusing very good in this cold. I don't know what uh, Sony said the operating temperature is, but uh, I think the autofocus is slowing down here with the temperature. Or the wind chill, actually. Come on, girls! You know, it's strange, like, yeah, I know all the females can fly. I've seen them all fly. I don't understand, uh, you know, this, uh, with them walking. Oh, no, I thought for sure we were going to have some area. Wings were flopping and then she stopped. That's two so far that have flown right from the swamp, uh, from the creek uh, to the house. That's, that's pretty good. I said one day it would happen. Well, actually, I said that they would fly from the, uh, the house to the uh, to the lake. And I think that's going to be next spring. So they made a liar out of it. And I really shouldn't have said it because I have no idea anything about ducks. This is my first time ever having ducks uh, as an adult. So. Come on, girls, do a little flying action for us. And they're struggling with the ice. You can see them struggling. Females are back. It's the Muscovies that are worried about. So. All right. Well, I think this is going to be the last time uh, this season you're going to see me in the tree. It's freaking <laughs> cold up here. Winds howling. Just give you a shot here of the uh, skyline just to show you how low the sun is. Look at that. That's where the sun is right now. It's just hitting the tips of the trees. And like it's only about four to four. So days are getting really short. Won't be long. Quarter four will be dark here, so and uh, it'll stay like that till basically the end, of, middle of end of January. So, but I'm gonna go down there. We'll do a quick count on the Muscovy. Hello, everybody.
everybody? Did you have fun today? It's been a little while since we were down there, huh? Now let's do a quick count here. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, that's 11 years from Scobie Field. I'm going to put down here. I'll have to wait till they get on the lawn. Hey, girls and boys. Oh, look at this guy's face. I'm going to get a shot of his face for you. You've got to see this. The, the, the vibrant red. And his eyes. Like, look at those eyes. I mean, if you got high def right now, you know, stream, change the settings on YouTube to high def. You've got to take a look at this guy's face. Like, look at that. It's so brilliant red. Okay, look at us, guys. Come on. Give me, give me a shot of your face. Now, I know when you look at this in high depth, it's so uh, brilliant. It's, well, it's brilliant in real life here, looking at him. He's almost scary looking. All right, they're cold. They're standing here shaking. Now, there's this male here. He's got the shakes. He's shivering. Alright everybody, I gotta go get straw in your uh, shed so that you have a warm place to go tonight. Come on up. Let's get the straw happening so you have a nice warm bed tonight and I'm getting closer to getting the barn. Pretty soon you'll have a nice toasty warm barn to go to. A really warm barn actually. Your boys and girls are going to be spoiled. It looks like they're losing their molten too. If you look here, this is this female here. The feathers are really loose. So they're molting right now. Mother Nature, eh? Yeah, molt right when it's a cold, you know, cold color. Unless they're molting to get uh, the winter feathers. Look at this guy. He's got a huge bird. Just look at his head. Look at that head. He's gorgeous looking. No, no, he's not going to hold still for us. But all the birds are feathers are screwed up. This guy's starting to molt. Alright, well, I'm going to go and uh, get the straw in their uh, shed so they're nice and warm tonight. Um, and uh, that's the uh, the duck rush home, uh, probably the the, uh, the final one for the season, uh, unless something uh, a miracle happens here. We get a wicked warm streak that melts everything, but usually by this time of year, uh, warm streaks don't do any good. So except just make your day a little more pleasant for the brief six and a half hours the sun's up. That's it.